Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the day 15 of 30 days 30 concepts of Flutter series for beginners and in the last part we were studying about the forms and we had built this simple form also and in this part we are going to study about the stack. So what is a stack? So to study about a stack I have found this beautiful image on Google and you can understand the stack from this image. So basically you can see that we use stack whenever we want to put something over something, right? So you can see this yellow square box is at the bottom. Now let's say, now let's consider an image and on that image you want to put some text or you want to put some widget or you want to put some icon and instead of an image you can consider any widget, right? Whenever you want to put something over anything then you use a stack. So you can see that this yellow square box is at the bottom. Then over this yellow box we have this purple box and over this purple box we have this red box. You can consider from this image also at the bottom we have the green, then we have the red, then we have the indigo boxes, right? And yes, so this is a use case. So using the stack only this uh, this developer has built this Flutter Solitaire game in which you can see that these are the cards and over these cards we have put other cards. So right, so whenever you uh, are willing to build such things then you can use the stack and you can see from this image also like this card is overlapping this app bar. That means this card is uh, that that means this complete widget is a stack tree and inside it the app bar is at the bottom then we have the card. So these are some of the use cases and we will be building something like this only today. We will be using an image and over that image we will be putting some uh, other widgets. So I am on my VS code and in this widgets folder I will be creating one more file and yes if you want any code you can go to my github repository link is in the description. So let's, let's call it stack.dart and in this stack, I'll uh, very fastly I'll just copy uh, this only. Control C. Then uh, in the stack, I'll just paste it, and I'll just remove this body. Right. And I'll make it as stack widget. Perfect. And the app bar, I'll make it stack. So let's take a simple example first. In the body, I'm going to. Uh, write a simple container and this container will be having a color of colors dot blue and if I just save it and in the main dot dot also have to return stack widget instead of returning form widget stack widget and if I just save it you can see the stack in the app bar uh, the app bar and then I have this blue container now in the stack dot dot I'll just put some other widgets and I'll put one widget over another widget using a stack. So after this color you have to define a child and to this child I'll define a center because I want everything at the center and in the center uh, I'll put a stack. So I'll put a stack and yes let me just de uh, deactivate my github copilot uh, disabling for dart for now. So let me just write stack and the children, we have to define a child after this center. I just forgot it. Perfect. Now, as you can see, I've defined a stack and this stack takes a children. So as you know that in wrap, in column, in list view, they take children. In the same way, stack also takes children, right? So let's define a simple container. And to this container, I'll define a height of, uh, let's say 400. A width of let's say 400 and a color of yellow. Let me just save it. So you can see this container at the center of yellow color. Now let's say I want to put a red color container on this yellow container. So I will define one more container. Let me just copy it. Let me just paste it. Let me just decrease the height and width. Change the color to red. If I just save it, you can see that whatever you will put after this main container, that, th that is this first container. And as you can see that this red color container is uh, written after this yellow container, then this red color container will be over that yellow container or above that yellow container, right? But if I put this container, this red container before this container, this yellow container, and if I just save it, then it will not be visible because it is uh, placed below this yellow container. So I'll just make it, yes, perfect. And let me just use a center, save it. 
and let me just use center for this too. Perfect. You can see, right? Now, whatever container I'll put after this red container, it will be placed above this red container, right? So I hope you are getting the stack tree, how we use stack tree. So let me just again half the height and width and I'll use the color green. And if I just save it, you can see the green container is now above this red container and red container is a red container is above the yellow container. Perfect. So I hope you are getting the stack. Now, basically we use stack uh, with position. We use position uh, while using the stack. So let's use position. So why do we use position? So as the name is defining, whenever we want to uh, modify the position of a widget, then we use position. So as you can see over here, I'm using center. But let's say instead of putting this yellow container, this red container, this green container at the center, I want to give some uh, modified spacing from top, from bottom, from left, from right, right? So for that, let me just decrease this height. Let me just make it 300. Let me just make it 300. This I'll make it 250. This I'll make it 250. And this I'll make it, uh, no, no, 150 this will be. And this will be again 150. And this will be 50. Last container will be 50. Let me just save it. Fine. So they are of small size. Now let's say instead of defining the center, I'll just remove it and I'll use position. Now this position has four other parameters that is bottom, height, left and right. So let's say this yellow container, I want to place 10 spacing from the bottom. So I'll use bottom and I put 10. And if I now just save it, you can see this yellow is at, uh, at a spacing of 10 from the bottom. So now let's say I want to keep it 20 from the left. So I'll write 20. I'll just save it. You can see it is 20. Now if I just put 50, so it will be 50 from the left. Like this, you can use top and right wherever you want to put your widgets. In the same way, let's use position for these red and green container also. So I'll use top and in the top, I'll define 40 and from the right, I'll define 70. Put a comma, save it. And yes, so like this, you can just change these positions. So what is the use case? Why I'm doing this uh, stuff? So for that, let me just take a use case. So let's do it. So let me just remove this complete body and let, we will uh, take a image and we will work on that. And in the body, I'll define a container again. Or let's define a stack. And in the stack, I'll define children. And first children, I want to take an image at the center. So, or we can use position also. So let's use position. And in the position, we have a child. So let's give a child. I want to give a container. And in the container, I want to give image.asset, image.asset. And to the asset, I'll write asset slash download.jpg. I have this image. So if I just save it, let's see what we get. So I have this image. So in the position, I want to give from the top, I want to give like, uh, 100 and from the left I want to give 100 let me just save it we have the image over here and if I uh, yes perfect so I just want to increase the size so I'll just remove this uh, left from here and I'll write height and width to this container height I'll give it like uh, I think 200 it's 200 will be perfect and the width I will be giving uh, the complete width I want to give. So for that, I'll use media query dot of context dot size dot width. I just save it. So as you can see, now it is at the center because I've given the complete width of the mobile screen to this image. I can just increase the height also. Let me just do it. Yes. So it is coming at the center. I can now remove the top if I just save it. Yes. Perfect. Now let's say I want to keep some, I want to put some widgets over it, right? So for this, you can just watch my uh, card UI tutorial. I created a Visa card. I just cloned that complete Visa card or you can say a MasterCard in Flutter, right? So you can watch that. I also use Neomorphism in it. So you can also, we will also be able to see this card, I button, you can watch it. It's very, it's a very perfect video for understanding stack and position. But now let's say, now over this image, over this container, I want to put some widgets. So let's do it. For doing, for doing this, let me just see where my container is. So I'll use a color. 
and I'll write colors dot red. So this will give me a, just a reference or an idea where actually how much spacing actually my container is taking this image container. So it is taking this much uh, spacing, but I want that it should also this image should also cover this complete container. So for that I can define instead of child, I'll define. Let me just cut this path. I'll define decoration. So I'll define decoration. I'll define box decoration. I'll define image. I'll define decoration image. And in this I'll write image and then asset image. And then you can paste the path. So let me just cut it. Let me just paste it. Yes, I'll remove the child from here. And you also know that we can't put color if we have the decoration. So I'll cut this color and put the color inside this decoration. Paste it. It will be box fit dot cover. Box fit dot cover. And if I just save it, perfect. Now I want to put some widgets uh, like below this Doraemon or above this Doraemon. So I can just put one more container. I'll take a container, and you can see that I'm putting this container. After this container, that means whatever I'm, whatever widget I'm going to use after this container, it will be placed above this image. So I can take a container. I'll put a height, height of let's say 50, and a width of again let's say 50, and a color let's say of color start yellow. And what is the error? I'm able to see it. So let me just cut this container, and after this position, we have to do it. And I'll use one more position so I can just remove that container. So it will be child and just paste that container. And if I just save it now, you can see this container is over here, but I want to just modify its position so I can just do it by using this position. That's an advantage of this position. So I'll take left as 20, then I can take top as 20. So if I just save it, you can see it is perfectly fine. So like this, you can work with position. I can take more containers and I can just place them anywhere using this position on this image. So I hope you have, you, you have got a very good idea of what this stack is, what this position is. And you can also use aligned inside this stack. So let me just do it. So after this position, I'll define align. So I have align and this align takes an alignment. So I'll use alignment and I'll use alignment dot alignment dot let's say bottom center bottom center i'll take a child and to this child i'll define one more container of let's say we copy this container only let me just copy it and we will paste it and if i just save it you can see it is at the bottom center because this complete stack is taken right so like this you can just place your, your widgets anywhere you want to keep so I hope you like this video and till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.